So in general, our lab is interested in uh, understanding mechanisms of uh, learning and memory uh, in the brain, how neural circuits in the, in the hippocampus, in particular in the rodent hippocampus, uh, uh, supports learning uh, and memory. The hippocampus is a critical structure for uh, that learning uh, mental maps and uh, learning locations and learning the routes how to find those locations. So you, uh, you go to a restaurant and you have a splendid and nice dinner. Uh, it is likely that next time you would like to go back there. Finding the, the restaurant will be important for you so you can learn the, uh, the route uh, to the restaurant from the subway station. And the opposite is also true. So if you know a bad restaurant, they, you don't want to go back to that restaurant anymore. So it, it's important to, to have these spatial maps to avoid bad places. The spatial maps in the hippocampus are not, uh, are not static, but they are dynamically reorganized as learning progresses. Place cells make a cognitive map in your, in your head, and they allow you to, to find your uh, way back to your uh, apartment or find the grocery store on the corner. To date, most of the uh, that place cells are considered excitatory cells, including uh, pyramidal cells in the hippocampus. And excitatory cells are under control of uh, various inhibitory interneurons. These interneurons are controlled uh, by another subset of uh, inhibitory cells, which are called disinhibitory neurons. And it turns out that many of these uh, the disinhibitory cells express a neuropeptide called vasoactive intestinal polypeptide, or VIP for short. And this allows us to uh, target and manipulate these cells. In the first set of experiments, uh, we characterized the VIP interneurons uh, activity in, in intact brain. And what we noticed uh, right away that the uh, VIP neurons activity is highly correlated with, uh, with uh, locomotion of the, of the mice. The majority of the VIP interneurons, they increase the activity when the animal started running. However, we also found that in a smaller subset uh, that of VIP interneurons, the response pattern was completely the opposite. And they increased their activity after the animal stopped running. So we don't know what, the function, what is the functional relevance of such heterogeneity. And future studies will be important to uh, map the anatomical nature uh, that of this heterogeneity on the functional properties. In the next set of experiments, we used a circular belt to train these mice and motivated them to run on these belts by giving them a water reward. Then we restricted the water reward on one location of the, of the treadmill belt, and the mouse task was to find this consistently. So once we, had, we, had, we established a good control behavior, we started to manipulate the VIP cell activity. So we used light to activate the sensitized uh, that VIP cell, so we enhanced their activity, and then simultaneously we recorded uh, the calcium signals uh, that from pyramidal cells. Activating VIP cells enhanced calcium activity in pyramidal cells, consistent with the net disinhibitory effect uh, that of these uh, VIP cells. If we increase the activity of these cells, then the mouse, mice learn better. If we inhibited these, these um, uh, cells, then the learning performance got, got worse. This optogenetic inhibition that, that was sufficient to abolish place cell remapping towards the, uh, that reward location. To better understand uh, the, our experimental findings, we also turned to a, a computational model. We built a model of the hippocampus CA1 circuit, including various types of uh, interneurons uh, that both inhibitory and disinhibitory. And in this model, uh, that we can now selectively remove parts of this inhibition uh, and look at the consequences of this manipulation on circuit dynamics. And indeed, what we found that uh, that removal of the disinhibitory components of the circuitry uh, that was uh, sufficient uh, to interfere with the learning-related reorganization of place cells in the hippocampus, further supporting our model on hippocampal disinhibition. 
one big question in, in, in neuroscience. Uh, why do we have such a tremendous heterogeneity of cell types? And uh, uh, one possibility is that, uh, that each cell type has uh, some specialized function uh, that they're during uh, cognitive processes. And that's probably important because uh, that learning and, and also the underlying uh, circuit dynamics has to be uh, strictly controlled and, and has to be a regulated process in order to be specific. One possibility uh, why uh, these, uh, uh, these inhibitory cells could be present, evolved and could remain in the circuitry is they can provide such uh, a specificity uh, that, for, uh, that memory formation.